Uh, London has some of the country's worst recycling rates, and we know that if waste like plastics and food isn't recycled, it can end up in oceans, in landfill, or being burnt in incinerators. We need to start to work together to reverse this. So in our London Environment Strategy, I set a London-wide target to recycle more than 65% of London's municipal waste and to cut food waste by 50% per person by 2030. To support this, we set a minimum level of recycling service where Londoners should have the main six recyclables collected as well as a weekly separate curbside food waste, co waste collection by 2020, whichever borough they live in. We consulted widely on this proposal and it gained strong support. Unfortunately, Barnet Council has proposed to withdraw the separate weekly food waste collection service for their residents. All waste authorities in London are under a legal duty to exercise their waste functions in general conformity with the municipal waste provisions of my environment strategy. And Barnet's decision contradicts one of its key provisions, which requires all London waste collection authorities to provide such a service to all curbside properties as a minimum by 2020 at the latest. Consequently, I've written on several occasions to the leader of Barnet Council to express my profound concern at the decision to withdraw the food waste collection service. Barnet Council have provided my officers with information used to support their decision. However, having reviewed that evidence, it does not, in my view, appear that the Council has adequately discharged their duty to assess or deliver their service in the context of the duty of general conformity with my London Environment Strategy. Nor, is it, nor does it set out how they will seek to meet my provision for the separate weekly collection of food waste by 2020 if withdrawn. I have therefore written to Barnet Council and asked them to postpone the withdrawal of the food waste collection service for four months, whilst an independent review of the service is undertaken. This review would cover all collection services to see where efficiencies could be made and, importantly, it would be available free of charge. Should they not take up the offer, there would be an option uh, to direct them to do so. However, I should be very clear that although I have the backstop statutory powers to direct boroughs to take action, my preferred option is for a voluntary and negotiated solution. My proposal for a review is a sensible approach which could help the Council find efficiencies and increase its recycling rates whilst maintaining this important service for Barnet residents. I understand the Council is taking the decision to its Environment Committee tonight and hope that the Committee will take up my offer and attempt to find ways to improve the service and save money. Uh, well, thank you for that uh, comprehensive answer. But it is the case, isn't it, that Conservative Barnet Council councillors woefully mismanaged their waste and recycling services. They've already removed their recycling collection banks around the borough. They sold the ideally located Middle Hill Depot before they had a replacement waste transfer site, and the new Abbott's Depot in Brunswick Park is unsuitable because of its size and location, and they paid millions over the odds for the site as well. For four months, the council was incapable of collecting waste on a weekly basis due to problems with the site. So against that background, on the 5th of June, the council, as you say, proposed stopping separate collection of food waste, which they say should now go into general rubbish, rather than disposing of it by anaerobic digestion, which is the correct way. And as they are moving away from their environmental strategy, I see why you want to have a voluntary solution, but will you use your powers to direct the council over its waste recycling if it doesn't take the right decision tonight? Well, I'd remind the Council that we have that power, uh, but also I'd remind the Council that we've come up with a sensible compromise, which is a review, which is free of charge of them, to look into alternatives to the plan they're considering. And I can't think of a good reason why Barnet Council won't take up the offer of a review. And so I'm hoping that tonight uh, sensible, cool, calm heads will prevail and the Committee will take up our offer of a review.